Guatemalan President Otto Perez Molina says, hey, we need $2 billion of your all's money uh, so that we can stop the flood of immigrants across the U.S. southern border, according to the Daily Signal, which, uh, hmm, some people say, yeah, I think that's kind of a big mistake because haven't the United States, bizarrely, has already been giving the money anyway. $528 million has go, of, of U.S. taxpayer dollars has gone to Guatemala and two other countries, El Salvador and Honduras, specifically for security and law enforcement. Now, you're telling me that you can't make do with $528 million that you have received since 2008, and you want $2 billion. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have $2 billion to get you. We're too busy trying to reinforce our border agents and get boots on the ground because your drug cartels that y'all can't keep in check keep firing 50 caliber suppressive fire at our guys across the Rio Grande. So excuse us if we don't have any more crap to give close the damn border nuts that is that is the that that's the long and short of it right there 60,000 illegal immigrant kids have crossed the border where's where is where is the president of Guatemala on reducing the exploitation of his own children citizens by drug cartels because that's not our responsibility. I don't even think we should be giving them any aid. That's not our responsibility. Here's a double, double-edged sword of living in a free society is that some countries are going to act like fools. And you just have to resign yourself to that fact. The best that you can do is watch your own borders and watch your own sovereign entity. This wouldn't. They could be as crazy as they want to be. But if and if we were allowed to uphold and enforce the laws that we are allowed to up that we have to enforce and uphold that this administration is prohibiting us to do, you know, I talked to that sheriff from Ohio last week. He's been sued once already by the United States government for attempting to enforce the law where it concerns illegal immigration. He's already been sued once. You have border state governors who are sued, and if they act, they're going to be found in contempt. Injunction after injunction. This is a White House's making. Ever since the deferred action childhood arrival, that was the welcome wagon. And it amazes me that here in the United States, we got people who are more concerned with someone trying to privately reduce the drain on taxpayers in border towns. And we got people like, no, that's the government's job. That's just a welcome wagon. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, DACA in 2012 was a welcome wagon. The president sitting here being vague about border security is a welcome wagon. You have people like John Lewis out there saying we should have open borders. That's a welcome wagon. That's it. In, it, it it's nuts to me. But that's just how it's rolling. I don't think we need to give any more. We don't need to give any money, period. And we definitely don't need to give $2 billion in blackmail money to Guatemala. Well, we'll stop. How about you just go ahead and stop it? Because the blood's on your hands. Blood's on the hands of the White House. Blood's on the hands of the Guatemalan president, El Salvador, Honduras. $528 million to these three countries for security and law enforcement since 2008. And according to the Washington Post, the U.S. Agency for International Development in 2012 spent $148 million 